Imperial Japanese Army Infantrymen, World War II. The Japanese infantrymen came from a varied background, including farmers, factory workers, teachers, white collar professionals, miners, and other professions. The Japanese government introduced conscription in 1873 for every able bodied male at age 20 to serve for three years. During the war, as the situation became more desperate, these laws were altered for every male over 20 to be subject to enlistment. Training would be a tough process of hardening of mind, spirit, and body. During wartime, training could last only three months. An emphasis was put on bayonet fighting, which drew on a belief in the emperor and the ancient samurai warriors, the bayonet being a modern version of the samurai sword. Japanese soldiers were to show their duty to the divine emperor and were often treated harshly with beatings and strict discipline by officers. During the invasion of China in the Pacific War against U.S., British, Australian, and other forces of the Allies, many Japanese infantrymen would display a fanaticism and brutality towards the enemy, including prisoners of war and civilians. Some of the weapons and equipment of the Japanese infantrymen were the Type 38 Arasaka rifle, the Type 99 Arasaka rifle, the Type 11, 96, and 99 light machine guns, a bayonet, cloth field cap, and a helmet. In the late parts of the war, such as during the Battle of Saipan and the Battle of Okinawa, refusal to surrender and suicidal attacks on the enemy were encouraged. These were known as Banzai charges, a term used by the Allied forces. The tactic was a last-ditch action when the battle was being lost. Japanese soldiers would charge at the enemy shouting, Tenel Haka Banzai, meaning, long live the emperor. Subscribe for more World War II videos. Get your copy of Simple History, World War II, today. Thank you for all your support on the Simple History YouTube channel. If you enjoy the channel, please consider supporting us at Patreon.